Okay, man, after all this time, from 480 horsepower back in June, mm -hmm. to it just made, what, 760? 60 just plus. Mm -hmm. Not too bad. Nope. Now, there's a lot of changes that took place. So, same manifold, same head, same block, same crank, same rods. There was a whole bunch of other changes we made that you can't see inside. So, let's talk through what changes we made okay. that could bring about that big change. I mean, 480 was where it was. We knew it was kind of hurt, uh -huh. but we got the dyno sheets and we're at 2002, it made 690. So we just picked it up 70 just by changing stuff you can't even see. Correct. The pistons were a big change. Yeah. That was probably in itself, he said 30% of 40% of the increase of power. So we went from a full round to a box style. We went from a 043, 15, three millimeter ring package to a 0 0.7, 0 0.7, two millimeter. We even got some fun stuff, right? So the old days they were laterally gas ported pistons. This time we had little lateral gas ports in the pistons and gas ports in the ring. So we did double gas ports. Right, that was a big help. The crank and rods are still the same. So that the yeah. stroke, all that's the same. Yep. Greg Anderson honed the block for us, by the way. Yep. <laughs> to get so to the that pro stock champion. That's right. So you've got the ring seal there now. Yep. We definitely uh, have good ring seal. The camshaft. I mean, going from there. Yeah. That, that Billy was, Godbold yeah. really helped us out. I mean, the he he did a real good job there. He made it a challenge for for this old this old motor <laughs> to, to get the coil bond right. Right. You that, said right. And the valves the valves we had made. Okay. So we mm -hmm. we tried to do this with as many parts as we had that were suitable yeah and i think at the time we had we had exhaust valves still mm -hmm. in a uh, new old stock and we had like four intake new old stock valves so we called exodyne yep and keith Bryan, those guys yep, out there are great folks that's right so keith keith made us four more valves and had we had it to do over again sometimes you go down the wrong road trying to use what you had yeah we should have got the valve at least fifty thousandths longer yeah so the coil bond could yeah it was it was close and it worked out fine but yeah. we had a little more work to do there we went from the old rockers, which were like what one five, one six, something like that. Yeah, one six five, one five, I believe they were. Okay. And then we went to a one eight. Yep. Nick Ramey helped us out on that. Yeah, he had some new old stock again. That's right. Or yeah. used old stock, but they still worked. Oh, real good. Yeah. yeah. So that was a big help. Matter of fact, I leaned on him. I thought I was going to have to tune that down a little bit for Qualvine, but we managed to get that. So. Thank you, Nick. <laughs> yeah. And then the lifter is upgrading from it. It had a roller cam in it. So yep. this was set up like a nine to one. Yeah. Okay. Like an old bush motor. Yeah. And at that time, a nine to one, 690 was with the big carburetor. It was a different platform. But so now we have the cam that's in it and the lifters are a 937 key. Yeah. They're so nice. Yeah. Morell did those for us. And uh, you contacted John, right? Yeah. John Kelly hooked us up with that. Got us, got us the complete setup. That's a... Yep. His I mean, DLC coated, I think yeah. they call them a block mamba or something like that. It's, yeah. it's a really nice piece, yeah. yeah. Very nice. The cylinder heads, <coughs> our head porter Jim, who ported these heads back this in evening, the day. back in the day, yeah. all through the 80s and 90s, Jim is still here doing the same thing. Awesome. He took these heads, these heads were relatively small and they still are, yeah. they're, not, they're not huge. And uh, he worked these over. Okay. Uh, the intake valve is a little bigger than before. So right, so you had to... That, the valve jab changed everything. So from there, he, he tuned on the heads to optimize that and then he he didn't open it up very much the intakes i think he only opened up 50 or 60 thousands so um, from the old days to now mm -hmm. what's the big change in the valve job i know the you know, valve ain't you know the seat angles have changed a lot over time and gotten steeper to make more power mm -hmm. so what how much difference was there between what was on there and what's in there now well i don't know others can probably chime in seeing sure. this but yeah back in the day if we were 50 52 degrees okay. so so we're not Oh, okay. There's not a big change then. Yeah. Oh, okay. We were doing it then. All right. Uh, okay. For sure. We had a lot of changes happen when we went to unleaded fuel too. We went oh, backwards yeah. a little bit before we could march forward. So. so that's one of the changes here. This thing just now run that number, the six, 760 yeah. something on... Unleaded NASCAR Sunoco E15 fuel. Right. Mm -hmm. So what we want to do is actually put some leaded fuel in it. So they don't have the Sunoco, well, I guess they do have the Sunoco 114, but yeah. we didn't want to do that. We decided to put some VP Q16 in it. That's right. Some real power gas and see what you can make. That's right. That, yeah. and I couldn't help myself being an oil guy. I had to, it, back in the day, it would have been 2050 ran this thing. So now we got zero W16. So the last couple of changes are going to be a little hot rodded up carburetor from our buddy Bill Pink. Uh, help us out with that. 
Q16 and then 016 oil. Uh -huh. we'll, we'll see what she can make with all those changes. Uh -huh. All right. See what happens. Let's fire it up. Seven eighty, so he picked up essentially three hundred from where it was this past summer. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's uh, that's good. Not too bad work, that, right? That's real good. I'll be honest. That's, that's... I was really nervous <laughs> about this whole process when it made four eighty this summer. I'm like, how in the world are we ever going to get? Like, if we get back to seven hundred, yeah. we'll be doing something. Yeah, but yeah, I wanted more than that. Yeah, no, you wanted eight hundred. I did. Yeah, we were really close. Yep, and we know that we could probably. If, Go back and do a few things right now, and, and you saw the oil flow along, right? Just oh yeah, I mean, we, yeah. There's there's seven or eight there we could probably fix. Mm -hmm. We could probably put a little more compression in it. Yeah, um, there's room for it, so it wouldn't be that hard to get to the 800 mark. But, yeah, but the driver should be happy. Yeah. Well, the, the the goal was take an engine that same old block, same head, same manifold, and just put in stuff that you can't see from the outside that's right and what could it do and from yeah literally from 470 to 780 yes it's, that's not too bad yep it's singing good I mean, we can't thank you enough actually for you guys and all your crew doing all this work it has been incredible uh, it's it's been fun for all of us everybody here and then it's been fun having your dad come here today yeah and for for those of us that were Kind of in our younger years, but we, you know, for me, mm -hmm. building engines through the 80s and 90s and uh, actually build engines for, for your dad. Yeah, exactly. And to, to have them here, it's it's pretty cool. Yeah, it's yeah. neat. It's neat stuff. So, mm -hmm. hope you all enjoyed watching this whole series. We're not totally done yet because you now we have the engine done. We got to go put it in the car and go to the racetrack still. So we're not totally done done yet. That's right. That'll be Just, the fun. That'd be the real fun, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. To hear it with all the headers on it in the the full exhaust that's right that'd, that'd be the, the last bit of it yep awesome stay tuned <laughs>